want to tell the story just because it's personal, it's private, and it's gross. But hey, let's all be adults here. If it's about ultimate health, if it's about really fighting the globalist agenda from all the GMO and all the artificial things that are in our food, the melamine plastic, uh, the heavy metals, the toxins, the fluoride, uh, the Grignard reagents, we need to tell the people. Now, Dr. Group develops many of the products that we have at InfoWarsLife.com. So, so part of this is, you know, the an, an infomercial. I mean, I do this a couple times a month. That's how we fund our operation. But, but in the mainstay, this is not an infomercial. 90% of this is pure informational and are things you can do without us that'll have a dramatic effect. A big effect. Everyone knows that the liver is toxic. People are getting liver cancer and having liver failure and problems all the time who've never had a drink in their life, who don't have liver problems in their family history. It's the body's filter, along with the gallbladder and the kidneys, but it's the key one. One of the biggest organs inside of your stomach, inside of your chest area, inside of your abdomen and torso. And when you eat all these toxins, if you ate McDonald's nuggets 20 years ago that had plasticizers in them, your gallbladder and your liver doesn't know what to do. So the liver basically excretes that into the gallbladder and it holds it. And if you're a TV viewer, I'm going to put this on screen. Just Google gallbladder stones and it's disgusting, but you need to look at it. And when you finally get filled up with these, it bursts or it gets infected and they've got to remove it. And we'll scroll through these. There's even grosser ones. Like, let's scroll down. On average, they're green or black. If they're black, they're really old and toxic. They're generally green. And this stuff's meant to be passed out of you, but we eat such artificial food that it doesn't. These are way beyond kidney stones, you name it. You also have liver stones. And medical doctors won't tell you on average, hey, flush your liver. They'll just say, hey, your liver's sick. It's going to get progressively worse. We're going to get you on a list for a liver transplant. It is unbelievable. We're showing these disgusting images. So about a year and a half ago, Anthony Gucciardi just said, man, I just did a, a, a Dr. Grip's liver cleanse, the one he recommends. And he's developing this proprietary stuff. He's testing on himself right now. You really ought to do it. The results are dramatic after six days. And I'm like, no way, no way I'm doing it. I don't believe that there's giant black or green balls in my gallbladder. And this is how ignorant I am. And he's like, look at it online. I'm not looking at it online. Cause stuff like that grosses me out. I don't want to go there. <sighs> well, finally, about six months ago, they convinced me to do it. So the regimen is for six days, and I don't sell this. The best is Bragg, certified 100 uh, years, organic, raw, unfiltered apple cider vinegar. It's got the mother in it, as they call it, unpasteurized naturally gluten-free. It's one of the best probiotics out there. We do not sell this. You take this four times a day in water, a couple teaspoons or tablespoons, and you take the oxy powder four to seven tablets at night, depending on whatever you need. I just started it last night. And after you've done this a few times, it doesn't take three or four days to flush you out. It starts right away for me. This morning, it, it, it was there. <sighs> took four tablets last night, took my first... Um, apple cider vinegar. I'll do that for six days. On Saturday evening, I will drink about seven ounces of organic olive oil before bedtime. I'll lay on my right side that has the gallbladder and the liver. And healthy people, it happens the next morning. I obviously wasn't healthy. It took two days. I said, see, it didn't happen. Well, two days later, ladies and gentlemen, I'm talking a toilet full of black and green gallbladder and liver stones. And Anthony goes, you got to do it again and videotape it. I said, I said, no way. Well, actually, Buckley was saying that. Because, yeah, it will sell a lot of oxy powder, and we've come out with a proprietary thing that he's developed the last two years. The new product we're launching today, Liver Shield. And you know what? I just said, so what? I'm all about being real and transparent. We'll talk about it. Now, about 3 or 4% of people, that doesn't happen the first time. Your gallbladder is so compacted, so full, so jammed full of stones that it doesn't even happen, and it takes several cleanses to do it. 
and understand, talk to your physician first because, you know, I haven't heard of this, but, you know, if it's already totally full, trying to push all that out the first time might, 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 might have some bad effect. I mean, you know, if, if, you're, if your liver and your gallbladder are already totally screwed up, who knows what this will do? All I know is the amount of energy I got after this was dramatic. I mean, within a day, it was incredible. And my skin got healthier, and my energy went up even more. Basically, I've slowly followed everything Dr. Group has said, and now I'm following almost everything he says, and it's life-changing. So today, we're launching Liver Shield. He's here to talk about what's in it. You take four or five squirts of this two or three times a day in with the apple cider organic vinegar. You take your oxy powder at night, and it is totally, absolutely dr dramatic. Both of these are available at InfoWarsLife.com. Liver Shield exclusively. And I'm so honored that as he developed his own liver cleanse a few years ago, that he started pushing this on me before he even allowed us to come out with it. So I was trying this six months ago, obviously, before I rolled it out. And I finally did it because they just said, look, it's real. Do it. We want to offer you this as it rolls out. It's dramatic, and you just got to try it for yourself. If you just, it's like changing fuel filters or oil filters. If you just let all that garbage pass out of you, if you just try it, it is a life-changing event. Infowarslife.com to get the liver shield that is key to have the full release happen uh, and oxy powder. And then, of course, what they recommend is apple cider vinegar Bragg, B-R-A-G-G, over 100 years out there, put out by an ND PhD with his wife, ND PhD, pioneer health crusader, health educator, authors, original health stores, life extension supplement. Again, we don't sell this. You can get it at any good health store. It all goes together. And joining us to, uh, to break down how this super cleanse works is Dr. Group. Now, you can take liver shield every day and have an effect. And some may start getting released after a few weeks, a few here, a few there. But if you want to vomit all this up, it just doesn't come out the top, it comes out the bottom, it's dramatic. I mean, when you realize this was in you folks, it is, it is, it is insane. It is insane what we do to ourselves and that nobody talks about this. Dr. Group, we're going to break here in a few minutes, but I'm talking about this personal experience. And I remember telling Anthony and you on the phone, I'm like, you know, I'm days into this after it, it didn't happen. You're like, oh, man, that shows you're really backed up. And then I was going to the movies. I had to run out, and it was super dramatic. Uh, and exactly what you said. And I'm told it's worse that they were black and not green. I hate to talk about this, but what does this mean, Dr. Group? Well, first of all, you know, I was kind of skeptical myself about the best way to cleanse the liver, but it didn't take too long to realize when I started looking at the root cause of all disease, and then, obviously, we've talked about it many times, the toxins that people consume from the air, the food, the water, and everything that come into the body. There were two things that I found that the medical profession never wanted you to find out about and didn't teach a lot in medical school. And those were the actual organs in the body that regenerate themselves. The liver is the only organ that regenerates itself completely in three months. The intestines don't fully uh, regenerate themselves, but the intestinal lining does. It's made of epithelial cells, and that regenerates itself every 24 hours. Well, then you look at all the disease-causing toxins. Well, where do the disease-causing toxins go? They come in through the intestines, and they get processed through the liver. So our philosophy and our research led us to, if we keep the intestines clean and if we can cleanse the liver... Well, that should be, then the liver could process the toxins and eliminate the toxins, and the intestinal tract could eliminate the toxins. Sure, but I mean, what do the different place? colors of the gallstones mean? And I guess a normal gallbladder I was reading is supposed to be loaded with these. Well, what we found out over the years is that the majority, over 90% of the population, has an accumulation of liver stones and gallstones, and those can be a combination of. Well, mine just were toxic. little and black. What does that mean? Well, usually the black ones have been there for a long period of time, and they attract different types of metals and other types of chemicals, xenoestrogens especially, which damage the liver cells, and also uh, the used-up bile that is normally green but can turn black over a period of time. They're 
they're not technically there there are some stones that contain calcium but they're more like cholesterol globules that build up in there so it's not good that toxic. it's not good that i was loaded with black stones no because what happens is the liver performs like 500 different functions in the body and that means it is the filtration system in the system it helps fight off infection it protects your immune system neutralizes toxins manufactures proteins hormones it helps control blood sugar so when the liver is fatty and toxic which most people have a fatty and toxic liver and most people don't know how easy it is Every single disease and symptom that people are associated with out there that the medical profession is diagnosing is associated or doesn't start until your liver becomes fatty or cirrhotic or your liver becomes malfunctioning. And with our research, we found that probably people only have 20% of their liver functioning on a daily basis. And that's what reactivates your body's own self-healing mechanism. Why that's did I get so much more energy when because i'd already gotten a lot following your directives but once this happened it was dramatic well the liver filters about one and a half quarts of blood every minute so think about if you had an oil filter in your car that was full of gunk and it was fatty and, and the oil couldn't press itself through there anymore ultimately it would lead to disease and it would lead to malfunction the engine starts sputtering oh i forgot the other part i'm not a heavy drinker but i do drink occasionally and I have a few drinks, a few glasses of wine. I've ate Italian food. After I did the cleanse, alcohol had a much bigger effect on me. Well, that's because your liver is starting to actual, actually function again and repair itself. And that's the good news that I, I personally think everybody should go through a liver cleansing if you haven't done one. And then take the, for example, the liver shield can be taken two different ways. It could be taken as a liver support formula where you just take a couple dropper fulls, but that's not going to purge the liver and remove all that stuff from it. In order to do that, you have to do the six day. Well, I'm gonna walk cleanse. through how the liver works, the different types of cleanses with you and give you the floor, but I'm asking a lot of selfish questions here up front. Um, how does the apple cider vinegar organic with the oxy powder and with the liver tracks over the six day cleanse, how does it then when you take the olive oil at the end, lay on your side for an hour as you go to sleep, why does it then have the the gallbladder release well this is something that I, I that is a very controversial issue and but results speak for themselves i mean hundreds of thousands of people have done this and and it dates back even a thousand years drinking oils to cleanse and purge the liver actually the greeks and the over in india with ayurvedic medicine have done it the same way but how it works is what you should do and this is what our proprietary research led us to do back starting in the early uh, 90s when we were looking at the best ways to cleanse the liver was to develop an herbal formula that contains herbs that will help soften or break down these globules or these stones in the liver and the gallbladder and that's really what the first five days is for that's where you mix the bottle of liver shield you pour the whole bottle in a gallon of distilled water and then you drink four eight ounce glasses a day of that four or five days. At the same time though, you're also using the apple cider vinegar and the full instructions will be up on your site probably by the time that we get done talking about it because we were making some modifications before I came on. So I recommend, and that's gonna be the, the liver flush kit that you guys will be, that we put together exclusively for InfoWars, you know, viewers and the people that wanna support the, you know, the InfoWar. So basically that, you, once you do that for five days, and of course you want to eat fairly healthy, you don't want to be putting a bunch of chemicals and toxins into your body, but then on day five is when you actually do the olive oil, and, and when you, you do Epsom salts, and the Epsom salts that you drink will actually help relax the, the bile duct and make it a lot more uh, elastic so any of the stones can pass through there, or the globules, the toxic globules, and then when you lay on your, you drink the olive oil, you lay on your right side because your liver is on the right side and those oil, that heavy oil ends up absorbing down through your intestinal lining and going into the liver. And it kind of works like oil pulling, which is a big thing now. It was on Dr. Oz with the coconut oil where you swish it in your mouth and oil has an affinity for toxic substances and absorbs some of those. And when you do the liver cleanse, you will actually form also little oil globulates as well. 
So the reason why you take, during the, ox, the uh, flush, the liver flush, the reason why you take oxy powder at the same time is because you want to be able to flush that out of the system because when the liver dumps all those toxic balls and rocks and all that toxic buildup that's been in there for years and years and years, you want to have something to flush it out of the intestines. Years ago, they used to always use colonics or enemas whenever they did liver cleansing or liver flushing. But now, since we developed proprietary process of using the oxy powder with the oxygen, it's an easier way to do that. And it's amazing, once your liver becomes clean, the kind of things that you will see with the increased energy. And not only that, but you're, you're, t you're focusing on the main organ system in your body that has a direct influence with how your body deals with symptoms and prevents disease, which is the liver. Because if you, every single thing that causes disease out there ultimately goes through your liver. Actually, your emotions have a lot to do with toxic liver as well. Anger, fear, depression, anxiety. By the way, you were saying this 10 years ago. Now mainstream news and science is going, yeah, the gut does affect mood. And, and wow, because our guts are dead because of all the herbicides and don't have the right bacteria, we're not creating the right amounts of melatonin and all sorts of other things. I mean, it's really simple. And so much of autism is connected to it. And the power structure knows all this. It's why they went after... Dr. Wakefield and others. And now it turns out that all his science was real and fact-based, and they've exonerated his partner. So they're really trying to cover all this up. It's just crazy. Do we know on average what a healthy gallbladder would have? Would it have any stones? Because the media tells us, or at least in the old days, you don't need a gallbladder. I mean, pure bull. Uh, tell folks what the gallbladder does and how it connects to the liver and how it gets dumped out in the gut. Or the intestines. Well, the, I mean, basically the gallbladder just stores bile from the liver to help break down your fats. But that's an interesting subject because people have problems with weight gain. All the weight gain is associated with fatty liver because the liver is what really breaks down the fats. And when, with the high carbohydrate diet that everybody's on, you know, the pastas, all the pasta, the bread, the sugar, the high fructose corn syrup. All of that stuff can converts to high levels of glucose in the liver and it clogs the liver up and that causes obesity. When I wrote a book and started looking for the real cause of obesity and the real cause of weight gain, yes, iodine deficiency was one of those, but it really all starts in the liver because the liver can't break down the fats properly. Well, that's what my dad always says, and he's a lot skinnier than I am and he's trying to get me to lose weight a few years ago, is he said, listen, drinking toxifies your liver, it processes the fat, and then it just pushes it all through and makes you gain weight. Uh, that's why you don't want to drink, because it then fries your liver. And, and, and then it's true. It is. I, when, I was, when, I had to, when I was writing a book called The 10 Super Secrets to Weight Loss, liver cleansing was the number one thing to do. And once people did usually about three liver cleanses, at first I used to think one liver cleanse was enough. And we've, we've had probably 50, we're probably hundreds of thousands of people that have gone through liver cleanses. And the reviews out there online, I mean, this is not something that I, I, I perfected it as far as making sure it's all done organically and changed it up a little bit. But even looking at the results of liver cleanses uh, for every kind of illness dating back, the success rates are amazing. But again, you're addressing the root cause of the problem. They don't want to do that. They want to treat the symptoms and keep you sick forever. We'll be back to talk yeah. about how you do the cleanse, how often you should do the cleanse versus maintenance. We're on the mark. So it's a totally unfair and unbalanced fight. And now the rebels are the freedom fighters. The, uh, the Syrian National Army are, uh, are being beaten every place around Syria. So yeah. we've got to change the battlefield situation. And just sending arms, very frankly, uh, although they need them very badly, they need anti-tank and anti-air weapons, are, is not going to change the situation on the ground. And the massacre goes on. ISIS. Blatantly supported by John McCain and the Pentagon and hesitantly supplied tanks, rocket launchers, 
missile and anti-aircraft systems in accidental airdrops. According to volunteer forces who are fighting the terrorists, American helicopters dropped boxes of weapons in Yathrib and Balad districts in the Saladin province. Now, the airdrop comes as the Iraqi army and volunteers are making significant gains against the terrorist group there. Now, back in October, the U.S. military admitted that a bundle of ammunition and weapons it had dropped over the Syrian border town of Kobani had ended up in the hands of ISIL members. Now it has been confirmed that ISIS has stockpiled enough radioactive material to create weapons of mass destruction. In the ISIS magazine Dabiq, ISIS declared their intent to acquire a nuclear warhead from Pakistan with their billions of stolen funds gobbled up as they ransacked banks and took control of oil fields across Iraq and Syria. ISIS claims that all they have to do is call on their leaders in Pakistan to purchase a nuclear device through weapons dealers with links to corrupt officials in the region. India's defense minister Rao Inderjit Singh made the remark with the rise of ISIS in West Asia one is afraid to an extent that perhaps they might get access to a nuclear arsenal from states like Pakistan. Bloomberg quoted him as saying, ISIS admits that the scenario is a bit exaggerated, but then points out that a few thousand tons of ammonium nitrate explosive used in mining operations or the weaponization of toxic chlorine as the gas berthalite would be easy enough to make. And it's designed to target mainly an American audience that is not geopolitically informed and doesn't know what's been happening for over two and a half years in Syria where NATO and the United States, that includes France, England, you name it, have injected over 100,000 foreign fighters from Saudi Arabia, from uh, Qatar, from so many other countries that are Al-Qaeda in over 60% of the cases, that's admitted. They are engaging in incredible atrocities across the nation. And three times in the last two years, they have been caught staging chemical attacks. They've been caught. Even mainstream news admits in the back of the paper, okay, they staged it. It's the type they used, they did it to blame Assad and the, and the, and the Syrian military so they can take over. There is a reason why President Obama There's has There's a reason the White House Science are wrote a book about brain damaging us with it. To the proliferation of these weapons. Because you're a bunch of murderous, down, psychopathic so bastards. And there I'm so sick of watching you Obama commit crime after crime and running Al-Qaeda. That this John international Kerry, norm cannot be liar, violated without liar, consequences. Liar! 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 And there is a reason. Why, no matter what you believe about Syria... No matter what you believe... All peoples and all, all nations... People who believe in the cause of our common humanity. Our humanity should support them injecting Al-Qaeda rebels to try to overthrow the government and so kill all the Christians. ISIS is about 30,000. Irreculous. They're not technically trained uh, to fight. They have only the heavy equipment that they capture from uh, from us. Australian Foreign Minister Julie Bishop says NATO is deeply concerned about radioactive materials ISIS has seized from research centers and hospitals that are exclusive to government stockpiles. ISIS has already been pushing its way into Saudi Arabia, Yemen, and other parts of the Middle East, becoming as UK Home Secretary Theresa May declared, just months away from becoming the world's first truly terrorist state. ISIS has essentially reached this plateau of potential mass devastation in roughly one year. They will not rest until their perfect storm of globalized militant groups have unleashed its full scope of U.S.-backed intelligence and funding on the American public. Of course, whether they have weapons or not is beside the point. ISIS is already very successful at engaging the media in a giant psyop to terrorize the public and keep a firm grip on American freedoms as deemed necessary by by the elite corporatic succubus as they prepare the final phases of construction of the superstructure of a new world order. John Bound for Infowars.com. Thought it was important to air that special report. When that report went up yesterday on Infowars.com after it had been on the nightly news, I saw a minority of people in the comments going, which is it? Does ISIS exist or not exist? People build intellectual straw men or they're not smart enough to understand what I'm saying. This is Al-Qaeda 2.0. The original Al-Qaeda was synthetic, led by Western intelligence, Saudi Arabia. That's come out. Now it's a larger proxy army to take over areas, but it's not fully controlled by the globalists. They're just turning it loose, like in Libya and other areas. 
when it gets out of control and attacks areas they don't want attacked, they then bomb it. They then use the threat in Africa to invade the whole country, Here's an, or the whole continent. Boko Haram crisis, U.S. to fund Nigerian-led force to counter Boko Haram, BBC, the same group funded by the West. Now, let me tell you about the special we're running. This liver shield is the high-quality proprietary liver tracks developed by Dr. Grip that we've private labeled through him, and it's extremely strong, extremely concentrated, extremely high-powered. You combine that with the Oxy powder, oxygen-based intestinal cleanser, dietary supplement, clinically tested. We have them discounted at the lowest price you're going to find anywhere because Grip puts out the Oxy powder. He's the manufacturer of it. This is used in Hollywood for folks to lose dress sizes. High-level oxygen, that means it's a higher level at time releases, in the intestines and is dramatic. You add this with a six day cleanse with the apple cider vinegar and with a bottle of this over six days mixed with water and you drink four different glasses of that a day, then on the sixth day when you're going to bed, you drink six, seven ounces of olive oil, organic, uh, cold pressed, first press olive oil. You lay on your right side for an hour until you go to sleep reading a book. You wake up in the morning, most people have dramatic results the next morning. I didn't. It took a couple days till I was going to see a movie at the Alamo Draft House and had to get up, and it was dramatic. And it was exactly what everybody said. It was exactly what you see online when you Google gallbladder stones. It's disgusting. And I've never talked about stuff like this on air. I didn't even believe it. I thought like kidney stones or something, you'd have a couple of them. It's disgusting. Dr. Grip, I'm going to give you the floor now. InfoWarsLife.com, it's dramatic. Uh, obviously, folks should probably talk to their healthcare provider before they do this. But this is one of the single biggest results, if not the biggest I've ever seen in my life, literally in a six-day period. This is something anybody can do. Are there any downsides to it? If the gallbladder is ready to bust, could this trigger something? You know, let's talk about any downsides. Talk to your physician. InfoWarsLife.com or 888-253-3139. The bottle of Liver Shield is $29.95 and helps fund the operation. And then, of course, we have the advanced cleanse that goes with the uh, Oxy powder uh, with a discount. So you get a discount on that, $76.90. And again, the profit we make from this helps fund this entire operation. So it's a 360 win, as I call it. InfoWarsLife.com or 888-253-3139. Folks, don't procrastinate. The mainline medical system is, is just going to tell you, oh, go on liver medication or get ready to have a liver transplant or, or, or whatever. Or just, I mean, it's crazy. I have a family member uh, who has four, on a scale of what, one to 40, it's some scale, medical scale, has like a 14 with liver stuff. And, and no one's telling him, hey, you can quit drinking. You can, uh, you know, your liver can grow back uh, like a amphibian's tail or something, uh, like a salamander's tail. No one's telling them any of this. They're just saying, we're getting you on a list for a transplant. We think within five to ten years, you'll need a new liver. No discussion of liver health, no discussion of what different prescription drugs can do to your liver. Just get ready to have a new liver. And then that has all those complications uh, and serious problems. So all we're saying is, obviously, you want to flush your liver out. Obviously, the literature is well known on what liver cleanses do. This is the best one out there from our research. Infowarslife.com or 888-253-3139. And I wasn't going to share my personal details. I was just going to talk about what other people had and, and talk about reviews and talk about what, what, what happened with the group and others. But I thought it was important enough for you and your family to be honest with you and to be literally transparent. So liver shield with the oxy powder and with an organic form of apple cider vinegar. Tell us, Dr. Group, what the three things do together, how you do it again, what's happening in the liver. You've got the floor for the next uh, 16 minutes till the transmission ends, Dr. Group. Okay, well, I mean, the fact of the matter is with the environment that we live in, everybody needs to be doing liver cleansing. And it's all about addressing the root cause of the problem. The medical profession is never going to tell you that your liver is congested and your liver is toxic and your liver is fatty and your liver is cirrhotic, which is just scar tissue built up in there, because there's 900, over 900 prescription medications that injure the liver and 80% of all 
cases of liver toxicity are actually caused by drug reactions. And there's children that have even died from in taking in acetaminophen and everything else like that. Right now, they're not telling the general public how big of a problem liver damage actually is. There's children right now that have uh, liver damage and fatty liver. There's, a, there's an actual diagnosis called non-alcoholic fatty liver disease, which is affecting many Americans, and it's a leading cause of cirrhosis in adults, and it even affects one out of every four Americans right now. And that's from people that don't even drink alcohol. So if you add over two drinks a day for men and one drink a day for, woman, for women, that actually increases the chances of you having fatty liver disease or, or developing cirrhosis. And with the liver, with our research, and this is why it's so hard for the medical profession to diagnose anything in the intestines and in the liver because there's really no tests that you can do. I mean, yes, there's liver enzyme tests that can, when they get high, but when they do get high, usually it's too late. And there's not a lot of tests that you can do to determine how many toxins are in the liver or how many toxins are in the intestines. So it's really simple when you think about any type of disease mechanism and the, the fact that the body has the ability to heal any disease known to man and any symptom is that once you clean the liver, once you clean the intestines, once you clean the parasites, once you clean all the chemicals and heavy metals out of the body, once you stop putting all those chemicals in the system, then ultimately the body heals itself. Now, the liver also stores the majority of the nutrients that we need. And that's why people are, even though they're eating and they're taking vitamins all the time and they're taking uh, vitamins that contain synthetic fillers and excipients like maltodextrin and silicon dioxide and titanium dioxide and those, those type of uh, chemicals, those are actual fats, fatty substances that get stored in the liver as well. So what we found, like I was saying earlier, is if you're walking around with your liver only functioning at 10, 15, 20 percent, then you need to get the liver up to about 75 percent to really start feeling the new energy. And that's why you see kids that have horrible diets and everything. Their liver's not completely congested yet, so it's able to break down the fats. It's able to take care of uh, certain things and process all those toxins without that individual child really starting to gain weight and everything else. But now they're finding actually, Texas A&M as a matter of fact did a study that said exposure to even low doses of hormone disruptors or endocrine disrupting chemicals, which are also, you know, the phthalates and the BPA and the xenoestrogens that are found in the water supply and in the food supply, can actually alter the gene expression in the liver and the liver function, increasing the susceptibility to liver failure, cirrhosis, and obesity and metabolic diseases, even in children. So really, uh, the whole purpose of cleansing the liver is tracing back what we need to do to address the root cause of the problem. And the best way to do it is with liver supporting herbs, purging the liver and flushing the liver of all the things that have been inside of it. I've, you know, I even read a story about a guy that had four stage cancer and I'm not, you know, making any claims here. This was a story online. I don't know if it's true or not, but I've talked to doctors that have used liver cleansing uh, and read thousands upon thousands of reviews that this guy did 26 back to back liver and gallbladder cleanses. He was sent home to die with only two weeks left to live with cancer. And apparently after the 26th liver and gallbladder cleanse, he, was, he went back into his physician and his cancer was completely gone. Now, you know, I've read every condition that you can possibly read and it's all about one thing. When the body is clean and you're putting clean food and clean water and you're breathing clean air, which you can create for yourself in your home environment, your office environment, that disease can actually cease to exist well sure i mean i mean here's an example there's a gas station where i used to live that's a nice place they sell barbecue as well but they're down a hill and i got gas there a few times and and my car would have problems and then i was talking to weldon he goes oh you didn't know they get water in the gas there because they're down that hill everybody knows don't get your gas there 
So instead of them stopping selling gas or fixing it, they just keep selling it. But it's simple. You get a cup of water in 10 gallons of gas, your car is going to sputter till it conks out. It's real simple. If your liver, the main filter, is filled with all these different stones and all this garbage, I mean, no wonder it can't operate. Right. Another thing that we, that we talked about a little bit was the high fructose corn syrup. And that's extremely, that's like poison to your liver, almost as bad as alcohol is. And studies show that Americans consume about 12% of their total calories Good God. on average from high fructose corn syrup. Why is so, high fructose so bad? Well, high fructose corn syrup is man-made. That's why it's so bad because it's, it's, most of it's made from genetically modified corn. It's got levels of mercury inside of it. They use processing chemicals to create it. And it's a, to it's a toxin. It's a poison to the body. So when it comes in, the body, it's not a natural food. It's synthetic. So when it comes in, it, the body has a hard time breaking it down. The liver has to work extra hard to break it down. It can kill liver cells. It's so damaging. And it, because the liver has to break the fructose up and, and break all the other chemicals. Incredible. And the products well, and the GMO stuff. Dr. Rip, stay there. Final segment. In the fight for human liberty, we need to be healthy. Purified water, clean, sunshine, non-GMO, and have a clean liver. Get your liver show today and sports the broadcast. And then with this, it was so dramatic eight days in because for, I did it for six days. Nothing happened. And I was calling him. I was, I was talking to Anthony. And I said it hadn't happened. They said, just wait, just wait. It did. Uh, I know one person it didn't work on. It works on almost something like 97% of people we've talked to. And I guess that means they either don't have any stones or they're really backed up. Dr. Group, are there any dangers to flushing out these gallstones? I mean, are they naturally supposed to be there? Are kidney stones and things like that good for you? I've always heard they're bad, right? Oh, they're not good for you. They're not supposed to be there. It's all, it's all caused by the environment that we, that we put into ourselves. But you're asking if there's anything bad. You know, people who have really, really toxic livers, probably the worst symptom that could happen is that they might throw up. Uh, some of that throwing up is maybe just a response from drinking the olive oil, but also it, it could mean that they're extremely toxic. So the liver, the liver cleanse, they might have some stomach pain. They might have a headache, some detoxification symptoms, but the whole purpose of us choosing the herbs that we chose, such as turmeric is in the formula and that, uh, combats liver damage and helps with the inflammation in the liver. We chose a rare herb called Boratutu bark, which is uh, a rainforest herb, which is extremely rare. It's been used for hundreds of years. It's one of the most powerful substances for liver cleansing. And it helps support the gallbladder, jaundice, repair of the liver. It has strong antioxidants in it. And the milk thistle seed that we put in there has been used for over 2,000 years for liver and gallbladder support. It helps detoxify your system from alcohol. It helps regenerate damaged liver tissue. There's, you, know, you can look on PubMed and find all kinds of studies on some of these herbs that we chose, especially milk thistle. But we also use a rare herb called chanca piedra. And it was known in the rainforest herbal shamans as stone breaker. And what this herb does is it actually breaks down kidney stones, liver stones, gallbladder stones over a period of time. And all of these things are in the liver shield. And that's why you take the liver shield for four or five days before you do the olive oil. So you're turning those hard stones into sponges, almost like sponges are breaking them down into little tiny soft pieces so they can easily pass. Now, if you were to go and just drink a bunch of olive oil right now, you might have a scenario where you pass a hard stone or maybe a stone gets stuck in your bile duct coming out. But I've always told people the, the most effective cleanse and the hardest cleanse for you to do is to purge your liver. It's just, it, it's just drinking the olive oil is really the hardest part. It makes perfect of sense. I mean, we clean out the garbage disposal. We clean out every other kind of filter pool filters, whatever, clean out the liver, but they're not going to make a bunch of money off of you giving you a liver transplant or whatever down the road, you know, if you get your liver healthy outside of their system. We're not making any claims. All I know is this works incredibly good. In closing, Dr. Grip, I want to thank you for your help. Thank you for working with us because uh, I know you're a really choosy guy, one of the most successful people in the country at all this. They're at the Global Healing Center. How often should I do a liver cleanse? I mean, I've, I've, I've done two. 
I mean, I guess I did the first one about six months ago, another one about three months later. It wasn't as dramatic, but there was some. Do I want to do it until every few months until nothing comes out? Right. Well, what we found is that pretty much anyone over 40 needs to do three liver cleanses over, let's say, maybe a couple month period. So they do a liver cleanse and wait a week or so just to rest and then do another cleanse, wait a week, do another cleanse. And three is, is kind of a magic number. The third liver cleanse, the sixth liver cleanse, and the ninth liver cleanse. For some reason, we've seen the best results in multiples of three. So, if you so, sure. Wow. You know what? Do five more minutes with us, folks. The new product is here. It funds the InfoWar. It's high quality Liver Shield, InfoWarsLife.com, and it comes with the Oxy Powder when you get it as part of the Advanced Cleanse Pack discounted. Live.com today. Mom who advocated medical cannabis oil faces 30 years in prison. And it's well known to help Crohn's disease. They're even trying to patent it right now. But this mom. Her son made pro-medical marijuana comments at school about how his mom treated her Crohn's disease with it. And the police raided the Garden City home in March after her son made the comments. She booked herself in. She's facing 30 years in prison. Because I guess in that state, it, it's still a total police state. I, I mean, what a sick joke that we allow this to go on. And this just shows how, how crazy it's all gotten. KMUW uh, is also reporting on this with a straight face like it's, a, you know, I, I, I guess a good idea. Garden City woman surrenders post bond and high profile medical marijuana case in the Finley County law enforcement. And, and what state is that? I know there's a Garden City in Missouri, one in uh, Michigan. It's in Kansas. Yeah, it's in Kansas. I mean, that is just sickening. Dr. Grib. Finishing up uh, with, with just the medical tyranny in this country, I don't imbibe in marijuana, but I know it, it's known to help with glaucoma, it's known to help with nausea, it's known to help with irritable, just hundreds of things. It's certainly got medical uses, and, and, and most people have smoked it or do smoke it. I don't get how you give a woman 30 years in prison or how 11-year-olds get taken from their parents because they were playing basketball in the backyard. I mean, I mean wh what country do we live in? We live in a pretty sick country, but people are actually getting more educated and more educated. I think that's, that's crazy. Uh, you know, the hemp plant is the closest natural plant to the oil that the human body secretes. It's only one carbon off, so it's the most natural. And it's got the most medicinal uses than any other natural plant in the world. It's highly effective for a multitude of different conditions, including detoxification. But what it all boils down to really is, you don't, even if you're a natural practitioner, really people should be looking at not treating disease. Like the real definition of a doctor should be a teacher and not a prescriber and someone that teaches you how to heal yourself. And it all boils back down to we're not treating disease with all these supplements. That's what we're not doing. All we're doing is cleaning your body so your body's self healing mechanism can reactivate and your body can heal whatever condition that you have. And that's all we're doing with cleaning the intestines, cleaning the liver and gallbladder, cleaning all the metals, the parasites, all the other gunk out so the body can actually heal itself. That's why I recommend everybody, you know, start looking at their diet, evaluating all the chemicals they're putting into their system, you know, doing multiple liver and gallbladder cleanses so their liver can function again. Because think of all the things people are exposed to every single day. You know, millions of chemicals, millions of toxins in the food supply, the water, the beverages, everything else, and it all goes to one tiny little organ through your intestines, and then it goes into your bloodstream to your liver, and the liver sure. is, when the liver's congested, then everything else starts. I mean, that's where all your symptoms Well, begin. Dr. Group, here's what it comes down to. I cannot get excited enough, and I don't want to come off like a carnival barker about taking the liver shield with the organic apple cider vinegar and your oxy powder six days it is explosive quite literally what happens and you realize that, that was in me and that's only part of it i mean no wonder i had so much more energy right after it happened uh no wonder my skin so much that's so much better i know only a fraction of people who who even believe me most people do they know i don't make stuff up are going to actually buy this and try it
I, I mean, for the money you spend and you're funding the info war, a win-win, it's just, I don't know how I had this weird cognitive dissonance and didn't want to do it when you were pushing me to do it a year and a half ago. But I want to thank you for pushing me so hard. Uh, you're just awesome, Dr. Grib. Uh, get the Liver Shield alone or the uh, Liver Shield Advanced Cleanse, both at InfoWarsLife.com or 888-253-3139. Thank you so much, Dr. Group. Thanks for having me on. Appreciate it. Stay dry down there. He couldn't even get up here because of the flooding. <laughs> State's getting flooded.